Castell loom is relatively straightforward to take apart. Uncap the pin, unscrew the barrel and post them for easy storage. Pull out the converter and if necessary you can disassemble this by just grabbing some simple grippy material. Grab the ink reservoir. Grab that metal ring. And slide it off like this. It's a bit fiddly but it will work. Once you've done that, you can take out the piston turning knob and the whole piston. As you can see here, again it's a little bit of a trial and error thing but you'll get it out. You can unscrew the piston which as you can see happens to be a little bit bent here but that's alright, it shouldn't really affect performance. It's pretty, uh, pretty thin plastic you can just bend back and shape a bit. Apply silicon grease there, there and there on the threads for smooth operation and on the seal for a smooth up and down move movement inside the ink reservoir. Once you are done, screw it back in place, put it back in there and slide the metal ring on. Preferably add a little bit of silicon grease right there for an extra good seal and some lubricant in sliding the metal ring back on there. The section is easy to disassemble. Grab the nib, put your thumb on the feed and unscrew the nib collar. Then pull it off as the nib and feed are friction fit into the collar. Clean them well Align the nib, note how it slides in place on the feed for proper alignment. Slide it back into the nib collar, taking care that there is a little bit spared out there. That should align with the underside of the feed, the air replacement channel. Put it back in there. Screw the section back in place. Stick the converter back in. Screw the barrel back in place. Cap the pen and sit back for some haggis.